All right, welcome back to Hot Topics TV, everybody. Y'all already know if the topic is hot, we are on it. Okay, so Jada explains what happened to her in Jamaica and why her and little baby are no longer together. I don't know if y'all know it, but she went to Jamaica recently and got a whole gun charge while she was there along with her assistant friend accomplice whatever shortly after that the relationship with her and little baby seems to have ended i was wondering what was going on all right then let's talk about it so it's been a chaotic week over at the quality control building rumors explode on the internet in late november that little baby dropped a hundred thousand dollars on sawitee during a shopping spree now i'm saying to myself ain't sweetie the one that used to be with quavo what is she doing with little baby and little baby and quavo are on the same label quality control or is somebody setting this up for publicity tell me the same the next level of disloyalty if that is what's going on this could cause problems in a house but we've seen this before you know, that little slice of heaven that women carry sometimes do cause problems, break up friendships and all that stuff. But let's get back to this story, though. So she said that, man, listen, $100,000 on Sweetie. Then the Icy Girl rapper fueled rumors after posting a picture with her. So Sweetie posted a picture with her and a mystery man. They kind of like they would cut the head off or leave a half of the face or a quarter of the face in the picture. And the person actually looked like it could have been little baby could have been. Cause I saw the pictures, but I was still thinking, nah, it, he wouldn't go that far. It's too many females available to go right there, bruh. And okay. That many people believe that all those pictures that were being posted was actually Quavo. I mean, not Quavo, <laughs> actually little baby in the picture. So, you got to understand that Baby and Quavo, Quavo who is Sweetie's ex, they are label mates. So, of course, that will be an awkward scenario. However, Quavo's suggestion to swap it out earned some attention from Lil Baby Child's mom, Jada. Still, fans are hoping that Jada and Lil Baby will be able to work things out in the future. That's what the fans are hoping. They look like they were a strong couple. They look like they were going to be a Beyonce and Jay-Z type. Like they were on a rise together. She looked like she'll bust a gun for him. He looked like he'll chop a head off for her. Dismember a body for her. Put a body in the ground and don't speak about it for her. And then this? Nah. So, of course, fans are hoping on both sides that they get it back together. You know what I'm saying? And keep it moving. Now, though the couple was spotted days after the internet debacle at the launch of her Pretty Little Thing collection, it doesn't look like either of them have any intentions of working things out and staying together. So, Jada hopped on Instagram live this week. And she was sitting there answering questions from her fans. Though she requested that no one ask her anything in specific, one fan couldn't help but use the opportunity to ask about Jada's current standing with Lil Baby. Y'all good? Because you know, people just time. Time tells everything. Some people just outgrow each other, she said. It's life, but I told you, don't come here and ask me about that, and you came straight on here, and you asked me about it. I don't know if she blocked the person or not. Now, later on, she said she detailed her experience with being detained in Jamaica, which was the interesting part, and later being convicted for possession of an illegal firearm. That's in Jamaica as well. I don't know how them charges carry if they carry over into the United States of America. Probably not. But I was wondering how the hell she got a firearm into Jamaica. Because there's nowhere in their laws that you are able to travel across their borders with your licensed firearm. 
That's why a lot of them got illegal guns. I don't know. So anyways, Jada details her fear, right? As she was separated from the person she was initially detained with. Because of course, she's in a strange place. She's in Jamaica. Jamaica got, their murder rate was over 1,300 killed in the first 11 months of the year. Or 10th month of the year. Sorry. So, she's probably thinking, oh, damn. They they, they breaking us apart. They're going to take him over here, take me over there. I might never be seen again. She got nervous, she said. And she talked about it. And she said that she ended up having to send her lawyer a 50000 US dollars retainer. Even though she settled the case for only $5,000 and received a $4,000 refund. My Jamaican audience will love to know this. She came into the country of Jamaica with a firearm. It was all illegal. She got caught while she was leaving with it. Nobody tested that firearm to see if a body got put on it while she was in Jamaica or anything. She comes back. She got caught. They find her five thousand U.S. dollars. She paid five thousand. She got back four thousand off the five thousand. <laughs> Nonetheless, she said that she would return to Jamaica in the future. So what that tells me as well is that she didn't even get in trouble for having it because she's not banned from the country. She could return to the island at her will. Anyhow, Doja Cat, the real story is she knew she needed a real nigga like Lil John to hit up raw and give her that A. She can't get crunk and Lil Baby can't do that. She want to get crunk and Lil Baby can't do that. And that's the real issue. These people are mean as hell. So, the other person says, here's the real story. Jada decided that she, she wanted a real man. So she came to me, and that was 6 9 Doja Cat says, hell nah, you're the biggest see in the game. She don't want a rainbow hair having ass mother like you. And then JR809 says, he found a new biatch. End of story. And somebody else says, not new biatch, but new biatches. So in other words... Lil Baby is out playing the field. He's deciding that he's too young for this lockdown stuff. She don't know how to take it. So she goes off doing her own thing. Her heart's broken on the low. It wasn't that she cheated on him. It was that he was out doing his. And she didn't feel like he was loyal anymore like he used to be. I don't know what to make of all this. All I know is they look like a good couple. And they really look like they were about it for each other. But you know how that Hollywood stuff goes, even though they from the trenches, but they sure is Hollywood right now. He raps about a hundred, a hundred thousand per occasion. That's a hundred thousand dollars per show. I'm sure he got all kinds of poontangs coming his way. And when you're young and you're wild and free with a whole lot of cash to blow, even though he's not the type. Because I've been peeping his style for the longest. And he actually said in an interview with Joe Buttons and them, he said, listen, I'm not trying to be broke when I get older. I'm not trying to be one of them people who people point to and say, yeah, remember him? He used to rap. He used to make a lot of money. And now look at him. I'm not trying to be that. So he's into investing and diversifying his portfolio and stacking his ones. He actually says that he, when he gets paid, he makes sure that he saves way more than he spends. And it's all about investments and long-term investments and in the future. So I don't think he's going to be falling off anytime soon. But I just think that their relationship just didn't work out for whatever reason it is. We'll wait to see. But that's what it is. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you think that Saweetie is going to get back with Quavo? Do you think that Lil Baby actually really did spend 100 k on Saweetie? And 
is featuring her, if you know what I mean? Or do you think that Quality Control probably put this one together for publicity stunt? Talk to me in the comment section. I'm going to hit you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button. It's Hot Topics TV. I'm out. Peace.